this is by far the cheapest 4K 60 capable external capture card that is in the market. But before we check it out, this is Alex from Alex PC Tech again back at you with another video and today we're gonna be checking out what it is you are getting from a 4K 60 capable budget capture card. A capture card allows you to easily live stream any content from your desktop screen or from other devices such as an Xbox, a PlayStation, a Nintendo Switch, or even your mirrorless or DSLR camera. Major streaming platforms now support 4K live streaming. The way it works is that you connect your console or your camera to the capture card, which is then connected to both your TV, where you see your gameplay, and a PC, which handles your streaming upload. The capture card then captures your audio and video signals and then sends them to the PC. Most streamers even have dual PC setups where you have one PC for gaming and the other one is used to stream and record the game footage. You can add a live commentary via a game headset or a condenser microphone by plugging in the capture card's provided audio jacks. Build quality is okay, a honeycomb design is implemented at the bottom to mitigate heat. I just wish that the shiny is somewhat like a matte finish as it attracts fingerprints. Setting it up on OBS is relatively simple as after plugging in the device, the computer automatically detects it without any driver installation needed. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to go down here and add source and in this case we're going to be adding a video capture device as my Sony camera is plugged on the computer. So we're going to press OK and as you can see, whoops, it might turn uh, a little bit dark there but you can see that the camera was automatically detected by the OBS. So I'm going to just press OK. And as you can see here, what we're gonna do is, yeah, we're gonna lessen this one up. So as you can see, there were two sound sources that has occurred. So I'm gonna mute this one. Yeah, so this one, this sound that you can see here is from the camera itself, all right? So if you wanna add a separate source, like if you're gonna be doing a commentary and you're gonna be plugging that microphone into the 4K capture card, what you need to do is, Again, you're gonna need to add another image input capture. And for example, I'm gonna name this cool hi me. All right, so this will be for that one. And we're gonna check if we can add. So this will be from the HDMI 4K USB 3.0 Capture Pro. So this will be where your commentary, if you add a mic on the Kuhai Mi, or in this case, you can even add a mic only on the PC. So it's up to you. So this is how you choose from those. And I'm just gonna cancel that one. So yeah, this is how you set it up on OBS. Whoops, Kuhai Mi is there. <laughs> Oops, gonna mute that one. So this is how you set up the audio interface and how you set it up on OBS. This will be relatively the same if you are gonna be using a console so you can maximize it out or if you're gonna be doing or capturing from other devices, consoles, computers, and in my case, camera right now. But Alex, some devices have live streaming options and my PC is even powerful to live stream while game on it, yes. While this is true, there are certain limitations that you will meet and certain data speeds or resources that you can maximize by using a capture card. Recording your gameplay and at the same time streaming at high quality requires a workload that a mid-range to even high-end PCs will struggle if you also game on the same machine. Why the 4K though? The highest resolution that viewers can enjoy right now on major streaming platforms is at 4K. The pass-through lets you enjoy your gameplay at its full resolution and frame rates. Currently, the maximum pass-through for 4K signal for HDMI 2.0 is at 60fps and record at 4K30. So, if you have a 4K screen, whether it's a TV screen or a computer monitor, you will still be able to harness all that resolution while streaming at the same time using one of these 4K capture cards. Right now, one of the closest competitor of this in terms of function is the Elgato 4K60 Pro Mark II, 
which has an internal connectivity using the PCIe 2.0 slots and supports HDR. This, however, can be modular and transported. Those could be cons and pros depending on your use case scenario. The biggest comparison that I see here is the price. Right now, the Kuhaimi costs half of its competitors in the market, 109 USD. The Elgato H360S is at 179 USD, and the 4K 60 Pro Mark II is at 240 USD. Streaming quality, to be honest, is very good. As previously, I have streamed in 4K. I am happy to say that the quality is great and I have no latency issues. Link of that stream will be in the description down below. Shoutouts to the people from Kuhai Me for sending this one out for the review. And what do you think, guys? Do you like it? Are you in the mood for buying a 4K 60 capture card? Are you streaming? Hit us down on the comment below and like if you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And see you on the next video. Take care, guys.